Hey guys, welcome back to Live, Love, Life, and Travel. This is your girl, Shimika. And if you're new here, welcome. Just to let you know, I usually upload my videos throughout the week. So if you're interested, please hit that subscribe button. So, as you know, I have been gone for a while. And one of the places I went to was one of my favorite places, Penang, Malaysia. Because I had to do my visa run. And usually when I go to Penang, because it is a bit more expensive, I put myself on like a strict budget. And I'm kind of like, I'm just going to go and I'm going to just do work. I'm going to enjoy Malaysia, but I'm going to do a lot of work and I'm not going to socialize too much because I don't want to spend a lot of money but actually this is probably the most social I've ever been when I went to Malaysia and I had uh, so much fun I spent 10 days 10 days there and I always end up spending way more time in Malaysia than I think I do because it's always like something happens and it's usually for some reason I end up going there on a holiday and it happened to be a holiday there too at this at that moment oh by the way I'm not sure if it's still going on I think it is until like February or March you can get a free visa, uh, free tourist visa in Malaysia. I'm not sure if that's everywhere, but in Malaysia, they were gonna, giving out free tourist visas. So that's saving you 1,500 uh, baht or 150 ringgit. And I think because um, like they upped the price at some point and everybody got like so pissed off about it, so they just like gave it away for free for a few months to like make up to make up for all the tourists or whatever. Anyway, so if you're in Malaysia or if you're about to do a visa run, any second now it's free right now so that's a good thing so i had a really good time um indian food was awesome had some vegan food and actually met some viewers of my channel that are now hopefully good friends of mine i just had a really really good time anyway the point of this video is i have i made a video like a month or so ago about being black in malaysia and how i feel like because I'm black and because of the color of my skin, um, which is the same thing, but because of my melanin that I get a lot of attention, more attention than I usually get when I'm in Thailand, especially from Indian men. And I was trying to say, like, I'm not really sure if it's because there is a rumor uh, going out through a lot of different countries, but in Southeast Asia that American women are more uh, sexually open and have less boundaries or less standards, but especially when it comes to black women, that's sort of a rumor and has sort of been like a thing throughout history. Um, but in my last video, I was saying I think it's less of that and I think it's more that they just like the fact that they can relate to us because the Indians in uh, Malaysia are very dark skin and I've even been told by other Indians that they like, they want to talk to me or they want to help me out or give me something free or discount because we both have brown skin. Um, and I think it was less of the whole like thinking that, you know, all black women are hoes or something like that. But I only had like one instance instance at that point where a Indian man approached me in that manner but this my last uh, trip to Malaysia it was a little bit different and now my opinions is sort of shifting I still think it's not all because they think black women are sexually aggressive or something I think some of it does have to do because they like the fact that they look at us and they stay seat them um but i think it's sometimes also the other thing other way around so i was walking back from having a couple of drinks with some friends at a bar nearby not too far and i was walking to my hostel sorry my, i was walking to my hostel and this guy rode by in a um, in a car and doing sort of the scrub thing hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride it's like hey baby like oh look at that ass look at that body da 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 and i was like covered i wasn't even like wearing anything like revealing not that it should matter but anyway like and i was just like no i'm okay and like soon as he pulled off another like say an indian guy came off from nowhere out of the dark shadows and was like hey like i have real i have good dick oh and i was just like oh okay no thank you and then as soon as i said no thank you to him like another indian guy came and another indian guy came and i'm not an exaggerated it was like they it was weird like they can see that i'm rejecting the other two so why are you approaching me in the same manner and so another indian guy came like hey baby what's your name da 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 and another one hey hey and it got to the point where i start to feel unsafe and uncomfortable not that i think they were going to attack me it was just like it would they were aggressively hitting on me where i'm like i said no already like why are you still coming towards me the fact that the guy like 
wanted to let me know he has good dick was like okay why would I want to know that like why why do you think a total stranger wants to know what's in your between your legs so that was weird I like and I think like I wanted to go get something to drink and I think I, I was trying to go to a store to get a snack and I just changed my mind and I just went into my hostel and that was the fir that was the first time in the two years I've been traveling where if it got to a certain time of night I didn't leave my area to go get a snack like in Thailand and or in any other Southeast Asian, Southeast Asian country even in Malaysia until then even if it was three in the morning and I woke up and I wanted a snack I felt completely comfortable walking down the street that no one's gonna bother me I was completely safe but that was the first time I was like oh what time is it like nah I'm okay that was the first time where I was even more aware of what I like looked like you know um like you know it's you're supposed to cover up somewhat anyway in a lot of these countries. But a lot of times, you know, tourists, foreigners, whatever, they wear what they want to wear and it's fine. Um, but in Malaysia, I had been told before previous times that my shorts were too short and stuff like that. So I already was kind of dressing a little bit more conservative when I was in Malaysia. But after that incident, I was more like, okay, let me button up my button and like, let me make sure my butt is covered. Like, I was more aware of like what I looked like. And so, yeah, that was a really weird night it didn't happen to me again after that and I did spend uh 10 days there you know it was the usual like hi like friendly hi and stuff like that but that was the only night that happened but it made me feel like so uncomfortable I was like okay I'm not gonna leave a certain night anymore I'm not gonna walk down these you know like isolated streets anymore but yeah it was it was strange um so so yeah like just be aware that that can happen like you know I was you know the my the viewers or my friends who were also black she you know she's a bit more bustier than me and stuff like that and she was also saying like she felt a little weird um anyway like just be aware of that if you're going to malaysia i still love malaysia i think penang is amazing and like i said that was the only instance that that happened like that in the 10 days i was there i've been to malaysia five times and that's the second time something like that's happened to me it just happened it was just like aggressive enough where i felt like I needed to say something like, okay, just be careful, like, no, you know, be aware of what you're dressing and what you're looking like and how you're coming off and don't be walking down dark streets by yourself and, you know, going out late at night, which is kind of like common sense for the most part. But like I said, we kind of travel through Southeast Asia, you feel a little bit more safe, so you let your guard down. So I just wanted to say that, like that, yeah, that just made me feel really uncomfortable. I'm going to go to Malaysia again because I still really love Malaysia. I'm not trying to say don't go there, it's not safe. I'm not trying to say you're going to get like assaulted or anything like that. I'm just saying like just be a bit, a bit more aware of your surroundings, how you're coming off and what you're wearing as a woman in Malaysia, any woman, any color, whatever, especially solo women, but you know, you're black because I've like, I've heard it a lot and yeah, and there is like, I said in my other video, there is like a building right around the tourist area, like a hotel where a lot of prostitutes actually hang out and you know, a group of them are black women. And in that other video I saw where the African immigrants lived and moved to India, they were saying that a lot of times they are perceived as prostitutes or really easy or something like that. So just be aware. That's it. That's my little video. Um, anyway, I still had a really good time in Malaysia. And yeah, if you have any comments in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like it and share this video. Please share it. It really helps, guys. And if you want to continue to follow me on this beautiful game called Life, please subscribe. If you subscribe, please hit that bell button so you get the notifications when I do upload. Check out the links below. And thank you, thank you, thank you from Live, Love, Life, and Travel. We turn walls to shake the poet and the beast I hope it's gonna make you notice I hope it's gonna make you notice